All right, guys. Um, I'm on the Azrak Tai Chi and the 3.0 BIOS, and I finally figured out the bug with the 15x or 22x multiplier, depending on the chip you have. Um, it locks down. Uh, you can boot the windows, and you're stuck at 1500 or 2200. And the only way you can get around it is to leave the default multi in BIOS and overclock with software and Windows. Um, that's not really a good solution. Um, for most of us, it's inconvenience. So I'm going to show you guys a workaround for now and then report this bug. Well, I'm just going to send them this video. And they should be able to solve it based on the findings. All right, so for this demonstration, I had to actually use a Ryzen 7 Pro 1700X. This chip just turned out to be flaky. It works. We need to figure out the bug, so I don't even know if this chip is publicly released yet. It's... Uh, basically a pro version 1700x for uh, prosumers I guess you could call it so anyway um, simple thing we go in here we set 3800 we go down here we set our LLC we set our voltage to fix mode or offset depending on your preference we set 1.4 well I set 1.4 which is the max you should be running and you save changes And pretty much I'm stuck at 2200, 2199. Now I'll show you why I'm stuck at 2199. Here is key. 17 TK stat and then I'm gonna pull up another thing and show you something else so Windows thinks we're at 3.8 all right there's your 3.8 PO 3.8 P1 and there's your P2 state which is power saving state at 2200 and then as you can see, the processor is stuck at 22x multi, 2100, 2200. Now, if I try to apply up here, this is not going to work at all. It won't even change, so I'm not even bother changing it. So anyway, that's the bug. Now, I'm going to show you how to get around the bug. It's actually really, really simple. It's so simple, it's stupid. So, we'll do a restart. Hopefully it actually restarts, because this chip is flaky. So you're going to take this voltage down here and you're just going to set it back to auto. You're going to go up here, you're going to use this voltage. You're going to go into advanced, you're going to go to CBS, you're going to go to Zen Common Options, you're going to disable core performance boost, you're going to disable global C state, you're going to hit F10. My chip didn't like that, so it probably needs a shutdown. Mm -hmm. 
if you don't do the other stuff before, and you just do it with the bug fix or bug workaround, you don't have this problem. I think it has to do with disabling uh, core performance boost and not doing a shutdown. The code that I was getting was uh, 78, so if it matters to any of you guys, you see that code, just do a sh shutdown and start from cold. And as you can see, now I'm at 3,800. Multipliers are working again. It's running at the PO states instead of the P2 states. Um, you might not even need to disable core performance boost, but I disabled it on this chip because it was causing me some weird stuff. I think the, the chip was actually trying to, to core performance boost up, I don't know, another 500 megahertz over 3,900, and I'm not stable there. So, um, yep, that's how you fix it. That's how you get around it. It's really, really simple. So, anyway, I'll send the video to Azrock and they can figure it out. Uh, hopefully this was useful for you guys.